Hello, welcome to this video where we will look at the final salary pensions in Voint UK. To add a final salary pension, you start in the dashboard view, go to this plus button bottom right, pensions and select final salary. I'm going to start by showing you the deferred pension option for final salaries and just talk through what this shows. This is the only thing that I've entered into the plan, so I'm going to call it deferred final salary and for the purposes of this I'll put the amount per year that this final salary is paying is £10,000. I'm going to keep escalation and deferment as none and escalation and payment as none and show you what this will do in the cash flow. Before I click done I'm going to just check the normal retirement age. This age is whether the actuarial reduction rate will be applied. So if I go to timing, timing is where it specifies when this pension will start in payment. So at the moment it's at Jane's retirement. I'm going to create a special event just for the final salary. And then I can change the final salary payment timings separately from the retirement timings. So I'll set a start event. So now this DB pension will start at age 65 at this event. I want to keep the normal retirement age at 55, but I'll show you in a second what happens if we change that. So I'm going to click done. The cash flow updates and at age 65, we see the £10,000 coming in. If I click on the first year of the plan in cash flow, you can see that pension of the £10,000. And in pensions in the first year, if I click on the name of the pension, you've got the LTA calculations there. So let's go back and edit this deferred pension that we've just put in. Now I'm going to put an escalation type in deferment and I'm going to set that as 2%. There's 19 years in the plan before this pension is in payment and it's escalating at 2% each year. So if I take that and work it out manually, I'd expect to see a pension of around £14,568 a year. Let's have a look. And there we go. Similarly, if you do an escalation in payment, if you choose any of these ones, RPI, CPI, these are set in your plan settings. So it will pull your RPI figure from your plan settings and then you should see the pension go up after payment like so. Using the deferred final salary option is really useful because it gives you control over how much is going to be paid out in the plan and when. So you can choose if you set escalation and deferment to none that that is the amount that's going to be paid out at retirement. To show you now the normal retirement age, if I set the normal retirement age to 67 and the pension starts payment at 65, then Voyant will apply two years of the actuarial reduction rate. So it's 3%, so three times two is 6%. So if I times 10,000 pounds by 94%, it gives me 9,400 pounds. Let's check. And there we go. As I have nothing else in the plan, I can see quite quickly in terms of my inflows, the value of the pension, but you'll need to go to year view and check in the cash flow and pensions tab what's happening there as there'll be other things in the plan. Let's go back to our pension entry and now look at the lump sum type. So declared and accrual give you the option to have the lump sum in addition to the annual payment amount of the pension. So in addition to the £10,000. I'm actually going to set my retirement age back to 65 so it's clearer when we look at it in the cash flow. So if I, for example, put a declared amount of £50,000, this would pay out £50,000 at the event in the timing screen when the pension starts in payment, in addition to the £10,000 of this pension set here. So if I click done. In the cash flow chart, we can see the £60,000 coming in. And to see the year view, I've double clicked on that bar. There's the £50,000 lump sum in addition to the £10,000 paid annually from the pension. 
again go to the pensions tab and you can see more detail on those things and you'll see the lump sum amount taken into account in the LTA calculation. If you select some of the other lump sum options, for example, commutation or maximum, these will reduce the annual payment amounts by your commutation rate, depending on the amount of lump sum. So if I say here 20,000 pounds lump sum, it will reduce the pension by taking into account the fixed amount and the commutation rate. So we'd expect the pension to be reduced by about £1,666. Let's save here and go check in the cash flow. And yes, we have the lump sum of the 20 and the deferred final salary payment of the 8,333. There are other options when you enter a final salary, such as survivor percent. So if you modelled Jane's mortality in the plan, what would pay out to the spouse? And there's also some other death and deferment benefits you can apply here. Let's now look at in payment type. So up here in status, go in payment. In payment is generally used for final salary pensions, which are already paying out. You put the initial amount for the first year in here, and then any escalation in payment select here. These values are taken from your plan settings, or you can use other to select a specific percentage. Once you've entered the details and any survivor percent, you can just go to timing and double check when it starts, which would usually be at the start of the plan if it's already in payment. There's the 10,000 pounds, and if, and in this case, I didn't have any escalation in payment. Now, if this is something that has already happened, you may well want to go to your carryover assumption section and specify any lifetime allowance used prior to the start of the Voyant plan. So any lifetime allowance used within the plan, Voyant will calculate for you. But if there's been a crystallization or the DB pension has started in payment prior to the plan, then you can enter any percentage of the lifetime allowance used in here. Finally, let's look at final salary pensions active. So for active final salary pension, you're first going to need to enter an employment. What we'll do here is I'll just delete this one. So we'll start again. And the first thing I'll start with is the employment. So I'll select an income. Jane's income from her salary right now is 50,000 pounds a year. I'm going to reduce this growth rate to zero for the purposes of this illustration. And I'll bring it back in later so you can see what happens. The timing for the salary is between now and retirement. So that's fine. And you'll see this coming into the plan now. And now I can now I've got the salary in, I can now go into the pension. So pensions, final salary, and we'll call it active final salary. Status active, and I'm going to link it to this salary that I just entered into the plan. I'm going to come back to these fields in the middle here and skip down to accrual rate. So in this case, it's 1 60th for this example, and the salary scheme is the last year. If there's been any years of service to date, you can enter it here. So for example, if Jane has already been in the scheme for five years, I'd enter a five in here, and then I'll add that in addition to the number of years that she's in this employment that you've linked in the plan. So let's take a note of this. It's a 1 60th scheme. She's been in the scheme for five years already and it takes its salary on the last year. The normal retirement age and the actual reduction rate works the same as the deferred pension. So in timing, this is when the pension will start in payment. And as before, you can move this event to a different location if it's a different time from the actual retirement time. So here the active final salary is going to start at her age 67. She's been in the scheme for 65 minus 46 years in Voyant, which is 19 years. But we entered when we were entering the pension that she'd been in the scheme five years prior to this. So our total number of years in the scheme is 19 plus five, which is 24. 
It's a 1 60th scheme, so divide that by 60 and we get 2 fifths. Now, that times by the final salary in the last year. So if I click on the final year in Voyant, go to cash flow, the salary is £50,000. Now note, when I put an escalation on this amount, the salary will go up and therefore the annual pension in Voyant will go up because it's based on a higher final salary in this year. But if I times the two fifths by 50,000, we get 20,000 pounds. I have no escalation in deferment. So for the two years here that the pension is in deferment, there's no escalation. And in here, age 67, that's the 20,000 pounds starting in payment. Again, in the first year of the plan, click on the pension to see more information. Now let's change things one by one. So if I now go to this pension and I put in an escalation in deferment, say CPI, this will increase the pension by the CPI value in my plan settings for those two years in the plan where it's deferred. And so now instead of 20,000, it's 21,218. Now let's increase it in payment, also by CPI. So we should see this go up as we do. And finally, let's go to the income and put the growth rate on the income. So now it's based on a final salary in the final year of 65,367, not 50,000. And so the pension paying out at age 67 is now 27,738. The same rules apply with the lump sum as we discussed in the deferred pension section of the video. And also the same rules apply with the normal retirement age and the actuarial reduction rate. You can choose to do it with a pensionable salary. You'd have to unlink it to the employment and click done. And in this case, even though in the final year of Voyant, the cash flow is 65, it will now base the payments on the pensionable salary that you entered. Note though, that this doesn't now take into account if it's in deferment or not. It just assumes it's all active until the pension is in payment. In other words, there's five years in the plan before Voyant, and now there's 19 years plus another two years in the plan in Voyant. So it's 26 years in the plan, divided by 60 times by 10,000, gives you that 4,333. To recap, this is the case if you use the pensionable salary field, but if you use the linked employment field, it will work as we explained before. Finally, a couple of things to note in terms of resources. If you go to the silhouette on the right and preferences, make sure your inline help is set to yes. This means when you're entering a final salary pension, anything with this green dotted underline under the word has a help window which you can open up here. Additionally, if you go to this help tab and go to search our knowledge base, you'll find some useful guides, final salary schemes, and what Voint is currently able to do functionality wise. Thanks for listening.